Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about different art supplies. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my art set. And um, I really love this thing. Um, it's by Castle Art Supplies. Um, so here's the Amazon link for it. And we're going to, so we're going to look at all the contents of this thing. And this video is more of a, of a filler video for this week so i wanted to give you guys something to watch um but we're filming um i'm filming uh another how to shade video and i'm gonna be filming um my first drawing tutorial and um so we're gonna post that the how to shade video is probably gonna go out sometime um uh, maybe the weekend or monday um, and then, um, I don't know about the next video, but, so, I'm excited about that. And, um, what the drawing tutorial is gonna be is actually gonna be a surprise because it's related to the how to shade video. Um, so, let's get started with this. So, um, this is a great set. I love this set. It's actually, I've been using it for maybe, how long? Two years, actually, probably. So, um... Two years is a long time and this thing has served me well. I love it. Um, so we're gonna be going through everything um, that's in this and uh, some of it is broken, some of it is lost, but I'm gonna be telling you what was or is in every uh, single compartment. Uh, and by the way, this thing, I actually still have no idea what it is. I know that's really stupid because uh, I have a YouTube channel based on art and this is probably something related to art. Um, oh, I know what this is. Uh, this is one of those, uh, sorry guys, I'm so stupid. Um, this was, uh, this is one of those pencil extenders, uh, pretty sure. Yeah, it's used so you can make your pencil longer or something like that. Pretty sure, uh, if I'm wrong, um, yeah, that's pretty stupid. Uh, so just comment in the uh, comment section. Uh, I'm being really stupid today. Um, so just comment and uh, tell me what you uh, tell me what this is because I actually don't know. So let's get started. So first over here we have um, the pencils. Uh, so now my HP pencil is actually missing. Uh, it's been missing for about. I don't know a year now and um i don't know where it went so i use this mechanical pencil it's great i love it um and i know that probably a normal pencil would be might a little bit better for um drawing but you know i like this pencil and um i like mechanical pencils in general and this pencil is great um it's a pencil um twist erase click pencil i guess uh 0 0.7 millimeter lead uh, so, uh, I'm gonna post that link in the description. I'll also post the Amazon link for, uh, this pencil and also, uh, this set in the description. Um, so make sure to check that out. Um, so then we have all these pencils ranging from 8B, which is actually really high. I mean, low, whatever. Um, and then it goes to 5H over here. So... Uh, it's really nice. Uh, the pencils are pretty high quality. Uh, I like them. Um, I use them a lot for drawing, obviously. And um, this is my normal HP pencil that I use. So let's put this over here. Uh, now we're moving on to this stuff. We're gonna go through this stuff at the bottom later. Um, but so over here, uh, we have actually a charcoal pencil uh, and this is great. Uh, it's a soft charcoal pencil. Then we have over here. Uh, I've never actually used this. Uh, this is a medium pencil. I used the soft one. Um, I used the hard one, but I've never actually uh, used the medium one. So that's why it's not um, sharpened. But uh, these are really nice. So charcoal, basically, it, it's like... Um, it gives you a different type of drawing. It's really uh, a different... Like, normal pencils are gray. Uh, the uh, rub-off that they give is gray. Um, but for charcoal pencils, uh, it's actually black, um, and it's actually really nice, but, uh, it gives you a lot of, and it rubs on, uh, so be careful with these because they rub off onto your hands, uh, really easily. Um, so, uh, 
my sister uh, got a hold of these once and uh, she made a mess. So, um, we're gonna uh, move on to the next things. Um, if these would get in, give me a second. We have this. Uh, this is a graphite pencil. Um, it's soft and uh, it's just a normal uh, because it's more for like shading. It's more for doing that type of thing because this actual the, uh, this whole thing is um, graphite, so it's pretty nice. Uh, it's useful. Um, and then we have some of pretty useful things that I don't use. Uh, so we have these for. Um, pastel pencils so or pastel pa pastel pastel pencils um <laughs> sorry um uh so there are three different colors we have uh sepia over here uh there is uh red brown uh and then i'm pretty sure this one is gray yeah this one is gray um so and then we have black. Now the black one is uh, like, as you can see, uh, the one that I use the most. Uh, I don't really use these. I haven't even sharpened these two and I only tried this one once. Um, but I, I, I can imagine they're really useful. I just don't, I don't do much of uh, color. I, I wanna get into that though. So these might become useful in the future. And also um, just on a side note. So uh, Castle Art Supplies is, um, they have this really good, 72 um 72 color pencil set and then there's a 120 uh color pencil set uh which i want to get uh i'm gonna see if i can get that so this is that's uh pretty nice um sometime in the future though they uh cost a pretty large amount um so i already said i'm pretty sure this is a pencil extender but i don't know exactly what it is probably should have searched that up before i started this video um, but these are one of my favorite things in this set, um, the blending stumps. And, uh, you saw in the shading videos, I use these a lot. These are like my, sh uh, shading things. Sometimes I like to shade without them because these make, uh, all the colors a little bit softer. And if I want, um, you know, types of designs, like without, uh, you know, shaded colors, soft colors, uh, I uh don't use these but these are really useful um uh so you can use these to like uh rub pen um graphite on paper uh and it'll you know blend things together now this is an art knife uh so be very this is like an exacto knife it's really sharp uh, i'm actually gonna open this but um i'm gonna be really careful with it because this edge right here, you see this edge? Um, this edge is very sharp. So be extremely careful with it. And this back part is actually really sharp as well. So just um, be careful with it. Uh, um, I use these to sharpen my blending stem sometimes. Uh, and that's pretty useful, but I don't use this that much because of how dangerous it is. This, this is something you really have to be careful of. And mine is actually broken. Um, so as you can see, it comes actually off the back end, uh, which it's not supposed to do. But I'm just gonna put that away because I'm actually really scared of this thing. Oh my God, it looks like I broke it more. Uh, okay, that has never happened before. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Okay, it's fine. So uh, let's just move on. This is supposed to go like that. Uh, there. Okay, so next, uh, on this side, we have a box. Uh, that's useless, but, um, actually, is there something inside here? Oh, did I put something? I don't know. Uh, so we have a box, but in that box came this. Now this, uh, if you saw my how to shade blending video, uh, you know that this is uh, sandpaper and it's useful for sharpening um, and taking, like uh, if, um, I don't have paper with me right now, but uh, 
blending stumps once you use them uh they get a lot of uh you know you see this like grayness over here that becomes a lot and this whole thing actually turns black so it gets to the point where you can actually draw with the blending stump um and that's bad because if you're trying to blend light colors and you'll put a bunch of you know random dark smudges into it so that's bad um so sandpaper useful uh so let's put this back in this actually goes over here uh at least i put it over there i don't know i think i might have lost something i don't actually remember but that was two years ago uh so let's just put this box back um so uh now we're moving on to uh this bottom part over here and we have these charcoal sticks uh now like i said um before i uh don't like to use charcoal a lot uh, I hate the way it gets on your hands. Now, with the pencil, it doesn't do that. Uh, so that's why I, I, whenever I want to do a charcoal drawing, I use these charcoal pencils over there. But, um, so I don't really like these. These are uh, charcoal sticks, and um, basically they're, they're exactly what they sound like. They're, these are charcoal, uh, and um, they're soft, medium, and hard. Uh, and it gets on your hands a lot and I hate that I don't like the way I don't like using charcoal that much so um, that's why I've never actually opened these um, but I can imagine they're pretty useful let's get this back in next we have uh, these graphite sticks over here now these uh, I have actually tried using um, I prefer normal pencils but for a more detailed uh, drawings, uh, I think these are gonna be pretty useful. Uh, and for like shading a lot, you can just like rub it like that. So these are also exactly what they sound like. Um, so I'm just gonna take out a pencil over here. Um, so this stuff, this is graphite. And these sticks are basically that, the stuff in pencils that makes them write uh, graphite. So, um, there is soft, medium, and hard, and, um, you can see that, like, uh, let me show you, soft rubs off on your fingers pretty easily. Um, so, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's actually, like, turning my hand, uh, silver. Right there. Um, so, and then... Over here, we have a uh, medium. Now, medium is like more, you know, a medium. Uh, so it rubs off less. Uh, I'm going to actually do that for this to the soft to show you how it rubs off. That rubbed off a lot fast. Um, and then this hard uh, does, doesn't rub off much at all. Um, if we do it over here, you see it's not that much. Uh, uh, this is, uh, medium, and this is, all of this is soft, uh, so, uh, um, these are pretty useful, uh, for really detailed drawings, and like I said, um, shading big areas, so now let's move on to the last part, which is over here, uh, my blending stump should probably be up there, uh, so... Down here, we have, over here used to be uh, an eraser, a normal, you know, uh, white eraser. Um, but I actually, that actually ran out. I used to use that a lot. Um, so that ran out. So now I mostly use uh, my kneading eraser. Uh, let me take that out over here. Um, this is, you know, I think most of you know what a kneading eraser is. But for those, who, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's like an eraser. Uh, it's made of rubber and... Um, it can stretch you can mold it into whatever shape you want um and if you want to like erase something really small you could do that or if you want to erase something really big just turn it into a ball and just like that so it's uh pretty useful uh i like to use that a lot uh that's since my eraser ran out uh that was actually not too long ago um this eraser ran out and um since that i use this and it's pretty nice um and then last over here we have just two pencil sharpeners um you know nothing much to say about that 
Uh, so that's gonna conclude this video. Um, so I hope you like it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, and make sure to check out uh, the link in the description. I'm gonna leave a link for the Amazon of uh, this set. And I'm um, also gonna leave a link for this pencil. Um, so I'm Mr. Draw. This has been Different Art Supplies. And I'll see you in the next one.